So you're thinking about moving to Milwaukee, Oregon. In this video, we're gonna show you around Milwaukee, Oregon. We'll take you through some neighborhoods, show you some different houses and different price points that may fit your budget. And if you stick around till the end, we're gonna show you the best kept secrets of Milwaukee. I do wanna let you know Milwaukee, Oregon has two different zip codes, 97222 and also 97267. So at this point, we're ready to go. Let's get after it. My name is Marin Paldi with Paldi Homes. And we get calls and emails every day from people just like you wanting to move to Milwaukee, Oregon. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, shoot me a text, call me, email me, and we can get this thing started. We're really excited for you to move to Milwaukee, Oregon. And with that, let's get this rolling. So here we are in downtown Milwaukee. This place is called Things from a Different World. It's a super cool store. It's the third largest comic store in the United States. We're very lucky to have that here. We are walking downtown um, Milwaukee. This is Milwaukee in 97222. This is home of the Dark Horse Comics. This is home to um, little restaurants. Cha 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 restaurant is down this way. It's also home to a chocolatier business. Um, just very, it's very quaint. It's older. It's definitely the historic part of Milwaukee. Um, there is also a bus depot down here um, for TriMet, which is super helpful. And it is, um, it also is one street over from 99W, which will get you, or 99E, sorry, which will get you into Portland. So this place has a lot of accessibility and a lot of new things, a lot of new places to adventure to. Downtown uh, Milwaukee is a pretty cool place. Also part of downtown Milwaukee is the Collector's Mall. They still have a soda fountain that people love to go to. Um, we also have Wonderland down here. Um, this is a very exciting place to be with kids and families alike. Everyone's got something to do. Here we're passing the Chocolatier building. Um, kind of cool. It's got little tchotchkes and things like that. Just another fun place to walk and be with people. So as I mentioned, we're in Milwaukee, Oregon, and one of the great things about Milwaukee, Oregon is that there's the waterfront, which I'll take you to later. And during Christmas, the coolest thing ever is that the Christmas ships come down from Portland and they make a spin and they turn around right down here at the Milwaukee, Oregon um, waterfront. So you can see all the Christmas ships and they come down multiple days. Super fun. Just a little quirk about Milwaukee that um, is fun if you move here. We look forward to seeing you soon. So this is coming off of the downtown streets of Milwaukee, 97222. This is the beautiful waterfront that they've just finished. You can get um, life jackets here. This is the boat ramp for here. Um, this is a really nice, quiet, calm area to come and enjoy the, um, the river. This boat launch launches you into the Willamette River. Across the river, as you can see, is West Lynn. Lots of kayaking, lots of paddle boats. It's a great um, entrance point to the Willamette and it's, uh, it's not a very busy area, especially on the weekdays. On the summer when it's hot, yeah, this is a busy launch ramp. Also in Christmas time, you can watch the Christmas ships come down and they go around here. So this is an all service, all season um, boat area for people that are interested in the water when they come to Milwaukee, Oregon. Well, we're just starting the home tour here in Milwaukee. This house is new on the market as of today. It is $440,000. It is four bedrooms, two full baths, 1,610 square feet. It's a real um, gem. It's in an established neighborhood. This neighborhood um, feeds into Rao Middle School and uh, Milwaukee High School. This house sits on a very quiet street. As you can see, we're here clearly without my sunglasses because it's the evening. Um, this is the end of the day for um, us around 6.30 and there's nobody out. Always a great sign when you can come out of your house and it's not loud. Here we are in Milwaukee, the 97267 zip code. This house is for sale at 4625. It's three bedrooms, one bath, 1120 square feet. This house is on a dead end. It is in a very 
nice, um, quiet neighborhood. It's um, below Oatfield and above McLaughlin. This house offers um, a spacious yard and extra parking, as you can see. This house will feed into Putnam High School. Um, and just for clarification, the 97267 and the 97222 are Milwaukee addresses. But if you look it up, sometimes it says Portland. That's always been a thing around here, but if you're talking about Milwaukee, it is the 97222 and the 97267, just for clarification purposes. Also on that note, if you're wondering why I have my dark glasses on, I always have very sensitive eyes. It's pretty bright out here. It's overcast, but it's pretty bright. So it's not um, for lack of wanting to have them off. I just clearly have to have them on or I can't see. So that's this house. We'll head to another one in the 600,000 range. Just wanted you to make sure you saw it. So on our next stop, this house is in Milwaukee off of Norma. It's a nicer area, well-established. These houses were built in the late 90s, early 2000s. This house is going for $649.9, three bedrooms, two and a half bath at 2,300 square feet. This is a cul-de-sac. It is, um, well, it's a loop actually. It's not a cul-de-sac, it's a loop of all nice, very nice houses. These houses, they feed into Rex Putnam and Alder Creek Middle School. Rex Putnam High School, Alder Creek Middle School. This house um, has been on the market for a very limited time, so it will go quickly. These houses usually don't last up here um, based on location to Portland. They're a quick jump onto McLaughlin to get into Portland, and they are a quick jump onto Oatfield and then 99 to get into Canby or go South County. Here we are on our final destination of our home tour. This house is running at 975. It's four bedrooms, one and a half bath. It is a historic home. It's the Plimpton home. This house um, was built in 1910. It's gorgeous. It's 3,400 square feet, as you can see. It is in downtown um, or the um, different part of Milwaukee. This is the 97222 part. These houses are older, as you can see. There's definitely a different um, vibe in terms of not as much of a neighborhood, as, but it's an extremely established home. This home was the first house on this block, and it is again going for 975, four bedrooms, one and a half bath. Historic home, absolutely gorgeous. Very different look than new construction or the other houses we've looked at. Another great thing about Milwaukee is the Letting Library. This library has just been recently redone. It has tons of construction upgrades. People love it here. You can see it's a little bit in the evening. It is across the street from the city hall. The library is also across the street from all these new condominiums. The walkability in um, Milwaukee is high and people love being able to come to actually the local library from their house. It's a super cool place to be and uh, just Another thought, if you're interested in buying a condo, there's lots of those here um, with easy accessibility too. Our very cool letting library. This is the Milwaukee Farmer's Market. Runs every Sunday from nine to two. People love it, as you can see. Super fun. Live jazz, which you can hear in the background fresh food, again the amazing flowers, goes two blocks, during the holidays Milwaukee really, really does it up. So this is called Dave's Graveyard, and this man makes these all by hand and it lights up there's a huge show at night and it's just his house so thanks for going on the tour of milwaukee oregon no matter if you're moving in nine days or 90 days give me a call shoot me a text send me an email. We'll talk about moving to Milwaukee, Oregon. Right behind me is the uh, mural that is from Chris Haberman. He was a Milwaukee uh, alum and he is one of the 
most featured artists from Milwaukee. He's our little secret that you were waiting for. Um, just a hint of the greatness that is here in Milwaukee. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll keep you updated on the market in Milwaukee, Oregon.